Okay, Steam Hub. I want you to affect both of these buildings. Can I do that without making a road? Doesn't look like it. That's fine. I think about here is good. Mm, I wanted to hit all three. I wanted to hit this hub, or this seedling arc, this seedling arc, and then also the factory. So I can keep things warm. But it looks like... That's not gonna happen. That's fine, whatever. I don't really, I don't need it to be like that. There. It'd be bad if our care house was sitting there not being taken care of. Resource depot. Wood. Just in case we start getting a little bit too much. I wonder why people died. Ugh. We must make sacrifices to survive. First death. Don't worry. We'll make a cemetery. It's a good thing I had my laws just sitting by. It's, uh, it's bad to lose people to that particular kind of death. Because we don't really, I don't know if we're ever going to get other workers. So the more, every death we have is a legitimate problem for us. But that's just what we're going to have to deal with. I'm going to put the cemetery behind the care house. So that way the people know where they're going to end up if they don't get well soon. It's encouragement for them to heal faster. Care house promise fulfilled. Yes. I wonder if we're ever going to get the the law book to choose between faith and order again. Okay. All right. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to reduce some of these. I'm going to put my workers in here because I need to heal. I need to heal. Automaton can go for this gathering post. So that way we're constantly gathering even throughout the night. More scouts researched. Very good. What do I need next? I think steel works would probably be good because we don't really have too many steel things lying around right now. I think. Let me look. We do have some steel wreckage just kind of lying around still. But I have to invest into sources that are either indefinite or close enough to indefinite. So, yeah. I think steel works would be a good investment. Well, let's see, hold on. It's about to get colder. We're gonna have to just hope the steam hubs will do the work for us in keeping things above chilly. Or I can research heaters, then it doesn't matter. Another person died already? What the hell? From here? No. Three, who the f We just lost. Another person? To what? To It wasn't, you know, we have the workshop and that's working 24 hours a day. My people are, are very susceptible to death there. I understand. What about everybody else? What the hell? What's going on? The seedlings are in danger. Captain, the temperature of one of the seedling oxes has dropped too low. If we do not think its precious contents will be lost, we mustn't let that happen. Don't worry, it'll be fine. How long does it have? It's hard to generally tell, but we're just gonna make steam hubs on it. Like so. And same with this over here. I'm seeing what we can do. 
All right. I have to redistribute our workers a little bit. Where's one of my automatons? We have- Oh, we only have two. I thought we had three automatons. Oops. <laughs> no, we're, we want to get up to three automatons. <sighs> oh, you see, this is where steel would be good because, uh... I'm running out. Steel, 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 steel. <laughs> we have so low amount of people. The work shift starts. All right, I don't know how long these have until they go out, but we'll, I'm, I'm fine with uh, these just kind of standing by. Use here is to work workplaces, oh right. I was also gonna do that just in case. But now I don't need to worry about it. Not until later. So really I can just upgrade the heaters to maximum level. I don't even have to worry about my generator this time around. So that's pretty nice. I, mean, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Oh, things are getting really, really cold and all my people are dying? Well, that's fine. As long as the seeds are fine. Okay, who can I send where? We have an automaton there. I want people to be here working on our automaton production facility, but all my workers are doing what I need them to. Okay, we're gonna have to work at, at a little bit of reduced efficiency here. Because I need workers! Same with here. One worker to at least keep the, the sick taken care of. Scouts have reached the mountainside cave. Good. Oh, I forgot to make the mountainside or the scouts. This cave could collapse at any moment. It's no wonder it hasn't been turned into a permanent shelter. We take what we can and leave before we're trapped in here. Or worse. Good, good, good. Take that. And then head off to the industrial ruins. What's going on here? Test subject needed. Oh gosh, go for it. The, this gives you an automaton upgrade, so that's my hope. Ooh. Here you go, have have your heater working. Because I don't want to make a steam hub right now. Requires steel? Seriously? You know you can make the automaton sooner rather than later. You can start working on it and then use the last 20 steel when we get it. We don't always have to sit there waiting for the structure. Alright. Let's get this running. At least it only takes wood to make steel works. Alright, hold on, I gotta connect both of the factories. I can't wait until we have an army of automatons. Hold on, gathering post, turning this off. I need to send this to work over here. Actually, you can't do it right now. Never mind. Keep working. I'll put you in the steel works later on, so then I can always have steel incoming. Wait, is this automaton gonna help with the building? Oh wow! Oh gosh! I didn't expect it to. It's supposed to be working elsewhere, but uh, you know, whatever. It took- it took a little while for it to realize that I told it to do something else. But you know what? Boom. 
now work at the steelworks. Because we need steel and a constant influx. Alright, where's my beacon? I need a second group. Beacon, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna need five citizens. So that means I'm gonna have to risk another group of people, but that might it might be worth it. It might be worth it. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. It's a little risky for me to take more people out of work, but you know what? That's fine. We're doing it. Because I might be able to find people with these scouts. Even if it's just like 10 or 20. Alright, I need a hothouse. Oh, that's what I need to research. I already have research. Never mind! Never mind, never mind. Well, um... I want to get my upgrades going, but I also don't want to spend steel to do it. Oh no. We're so close to getting this upgrade. Screw it. I'll just do this. I didn't I wanted my steel to be available for my automaton. Get back to work. What are you doing, buddy? I think he's, he's idle for the, the the guy who took him away. Steam core needed. Yeah, I give him one. Our people are starving, and that's my bad. That's my bad. I forgot about about the the hot house again. Will this be close enough to the steam hub? I sure hope so. Maybe not. You can see it kind of... The steam hub lights up when it's in range. Alright, then I'll do this. I'm gonna put the hothouse next to the seedling arc. Cause oh shit, we're running out of food. drill. I'm getting this earlier rather than later. Where is my sawmill anyways? Alright, it's back here. How much do we have for it? 692 wood. Good. Autonomous city. The automatons are performing admirably. Now we have to make enough of them to automate all of the critical operations in the city before the storm hits. It's the only way to ensure that the seedling arcs will be supported during the storm. Good, 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 good. A new automaton has been built. I will send it off to work in the steel mills. The steel works. I need more. But as we currently do not have the resources for it, we have to wait a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I need people to work in the hot house at some point. God! This beginning is rough. This beginning is rough. <laughs> we have so little people. This is ridiculous. We're gonna have one guy working at the cookhouse. That's how we're gonna do this. Work time. Get back to work. We need more automatons. Which means I need engineers to work here. Which means I'm gonna turn off 
our coal production for a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need my people to make the robots. What's going on here? The search for steam cores. Captain, we've run out of steam cores. We know there are some industrial ruins in the north and south. We might find some more steam cores there. We don't- we haven't ran out. But, hey, if you want to generate random ones, that's fine. Reach the South Pass, or Misty Valley. Well, we have people waiting here. This building was destroyed by a powerful avalanche. Its interiors are filled with snow, but we should be able to retrieve some resources. We discover a bounty of resources as we dig through the snow. Sadly, that's not all we find. An avalanche killed everyone who worked here. Their corpses have been frozen solid. The relatively light clothes and the insignia of Her Majesty's Prospector Corps suggest that they were explorers sent north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the Great Winter. Maybe it's for the best that they weren't there to witness the fall of the Empire. I mean, that's that's one way to view it. We have food available here, but... Do I want to head out over to these places immediately? A narrow passage between two steep mountain faces. We could try to traverse it to reach the next valley. What about here? A deep valley covered in a dense fog. Not much can be seen from where we are. That seems kind of risky. Maybe I'll just do the stone ship. I don't, I don't want to lose my scouts too immediately. I'm fine on steam cores for now. The Automaton Project, a huge success. Sir, the automaton project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at lower cost and used in medical facilities. We learned to modify the automatons with precision attachments to allow them to work on the most fragile thing we know of, the human body. It also turns out we can remove some non-essential parts. Cool, 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 cool. We also reduced the cost of them by 5%. Which... isn't really that big, but in the future that'll be nice. I was tempted to cancel the top down, but I'd rather them keep working. The people are starving, and that's problematic, because we're running out of people anyways. At least we have no kids. At least we have no kids. Good for them, right? Okay. Automaton Scouts. Allows us to deploy Automaton Scouts and raises the scout limit by one. Whoa! Seriously? That's pretty cool. I should have had way more Automatons in my last campaign. I think if I'd had more Automatons, things would have been good. Minus the glitch that prevented me from getting Steam Cores. That kind of screwed me over a good bit. All right, let's get our automaton getting us some coal. Although we could also create the wall drill. And start getting ourselves a permanent source of wood, but I'm not terribly worried about it for now. I just wanted this for later. It also costs a wall, uh, steam core to make, so. I should... I should play it safe. Although, how much is... How much does this still have? It's 500? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> we'll wait, we'll wait. I'll instead construct something else. Let's see. Maybe... another... I don't know, honestly. We, we have so low, like, income of people, which is pretty much we have no income of people. So I'm just kind of sitting here, barely managing. Fuck it, I guess. I'll make a, a wall drill. There. So at some point, I can send an automaton to go gather stuff from there. Or even just send workers. Coal pile depleted. I think that was a coal pile that was maybe near the... The coal thumper? 
Yeah, it's because we have no one working on the cold thumper. But that's okay. Whatever. That's how come we only have one gathering post working. Actually, no, we have two. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot about this guy. Oh, jeez. The temperature's going down. Well, this isn't so bad. As long as my arcs are staying warm enough to function. That's all I care about. I don't need it to be comfortable. I don't need it to be livable. Get going. Time to earn your bread. I just need it to be good enough. I hope we find survivors somewhere. Even if the only thing we can give them is one final task. It might well be worth it. Okay. Let's get our tier 2 research going. What do you guys got for me? A distinct spot in Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further research. Uh... I want... I want stuff immediately. Okay. A broken snow crawler partly covered by snow. It has to be one of the vehicles we lost in the blizzard on our journey north. I'll go for the wrecked vehicle. Oh, I need to bring some of these foods back. We're not super screwed on resources just yet, so I'm fine with them just kind of chilling out and doing whatever. Book of Laws. I'll promise that we'll make people prosthetics if they lose limbs. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Uh, prostheses may be expensive, but for many of us, they're priceless. Is this another land? This is just another landmark. Darn it all. Fine. Head to the Icefall Mall Mine. It appears to be a perilous, perilously located mine. And the people- they're the people with the loot? Never mind, we're going here. <laughs> I'm not sending them to a perilous mine and having them lose everything. That can be the other group if they don't find anything at the next location. Oh, jeez, our coal production is really bad. It's not enough. It's just never enough. What do we got? We found the wreck of some sort of vehicle. We can salvage some parts from it. As we disassembled the wreck, we found several bags of frozen but usable supplies. 138 coal, 97 steel. Yeah, I think I'll send them back now. Although I think I'll also maybe make them go to the South Pass. Although I have a feeling that the South Pass and the Misty Valley, they're not going to give us cores immediately. They're going to be, like, launch off landmark points. So we'll make our people stop back at home first. Or we could risk it. I'm going to send them to the mine. They've only got coal and steel. So, it's kind of, it's whatever's. Oh god, it's free time. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, we're fine, never mind. I heard the alarm, and then I read free time, I'm like, oh shit, my people aren't working, and we're about to run out of coal. No, the workday is just about to start. Get going. Time to earn your bread. How much coal do we have left here? None, 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 none. Alright, the automaton's gonna work at the coal thumper then. Because otherwise, our people get nothing. Generator's shutting down! Yep, that's my bad! <laughs> I'm, I'm making coal now, everything's fine. Yeah. Scouts need to be able to go 50% faster. What's going on? Letter of thanks. Sir, an engineer is here to see you. He has a letter to you from his team. My workers asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry, but here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. 
The sight of this automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold, where previously they toiled and suffered, is something worth living for. Oh, well, that's good. Soon there's gonna be, hopefully, more automatons than there are people. Maybe. We'll, we'll see about that. I need to upgrade my automatons so they're amazing, too. Do I have a... You know what? I need to get a coal mine. That's something I can send my people to- uh, my, my robots to work on, and I'll just get straight coal without having to worry about the thumper. See, the problem with the thumper, I realize now, is that it requires two different buildings to be working in conjunction. The gathering post and the coal thumper. Whereas a coal mine doesn't need to worry about that at all. Serious accident? Ugh. Sir, there's been an accident. An automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that the automatons should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. Fuck no. <laughs> automatons will remain a threat. No. We're keeping the automatons working. He's crippled for life. Well, should have watched out where he was going. Do you see how slow these fucking things are? Minus the fact that we're currently watching one step through a care house, but, y you know, it didn't crush it. It just steer clear out of its path. They're predictable. It's like, it's like looking at a, a road. Don't step into the road and you probably won't run, get ran over by a car most of the time. Alright, what do we got going on here? One of the snow crawlers that was lost on the journey north. Disassembling it will provide us with resources. Good. This snow crawler was separated from our expedition by the blizzard and ran out of fuel. Our people are still inside, frozen solid. We'll give them a proper burial. The crawler was built before the great winter. Nobody predicted how bad the weather would get. It didn't stand a chance. All we can do now is dismantle it for resources. Three steam cores. That's pretty good. Alright. Well, they can head on home. It would take- it would actually take longer for them to go to Misty Valley than it would to get to our city. That's funny. Give us the steam cores! And coal. Coal is nice. Coal is needed. Holy crap. What were we saying about needing a mine? Yeah. Okay. Emergency shift! Sorry, people. My research has just been slowing down a little bit too much. Alright. You know what? Let me assign my automatons from the steel mills. That's not what I need right now. I need coal. And I'll put a hot I'll put one in the hot house. How much time do we have left on this? 16 days. Wow, that's actually pretty generous. If they only want me to have five automatons working. I wish we had had steam cores in the last campaign. Like, just a constant influx of them, because I would have made so many automatons. Okay. What can I make with this? Steam hub range, improved heaters, don't need those just yet. Let's get coal mining going. So that way I can have... I can have an automaton working in that rather than the coal thumper. This is an interesting scenario, though. It definitely makes you sit there going, Whew! I ain't got people, so I can't really do much. It makes you think about people as a resource, a very valuable resource. Rather than just being like, yeah, I'll just get like 20 more people soon. 
How are we doing here? Chili? Chili's fine. Chili is sustainable. Although, this place isn't having a good time. I thought the heater was on. Oh, it must have shut off when the coal ran out. What's going on? Oh! Oh no! This is bad! This is bad! Our seedling arcs! They're too cold! So I'm gonna need steam- I'm gonna need a steam up over here. Bam. Alright. 